Mother's Day is around the corner. Find the perfect gift for the mom in your life with a stunning piece of jewelry from Blue Nile. From timeless pearls to dazzling gemstones, Blue Nile has something she'll adore. Need it fast? Most items can ship overnight. Plus, enjoy guaranteed free shipping and returns. Don't miss our special Mother's Day deals. Save big on the season's most beautiful trends. For a limited time, get up to 50% off by going to BlueNile.com. That's BlueNile.com. Hey guys, it is Ryan. I'm not sure if you know this about me, but I'm a bit of a fun fanatic when I can. I like to work, but I like fun too. It's a thing. And now the truth is out there. I can tell you about my favorite place to have fun. Chumba Casino. They have hundreds of social casino style games to choose from with new games released each week. You can play for free anytime, anywhere And each day brings a new chance to collect daily bonuses. So join me in the fun. Sign up now at ChumbaCasino.com. No purchase necessary. VTW. Void. We're prohibited by law. See terms and conditions. 18 plus. It is Ryan here, and I have a question for you. What do you do when you win? Like, are you a fist pumper? A woo a hand clap or a high fiver. I kind of like the high five, but if you want to hone in on those winning moves, check out Chumba Casino. At chumbacasino.com, choose from hundreds of social casino style games for your chance to redeem serious cash prizes. There are new game releases weekly plus free daily bonuses, so don't wait. Start having the most fun ever at chumbacasino.com. No purchase necessary. DGW report were prohibited by law. See terms and conditions. 18+. Plus. <laughs> Hello everyone, it's Mina. I do apologize. I should have done this voice note a little bit earlier, um, but I did want to just come on here and speak to you a little bit about all the happenings in European football. And it's been a great week, a great week for Italians. It really is just a shame that we don't have any representative in the Champions League, but we do in Carlo Ancelotti. But I'm not going to start with him. I'm going to start with Roma, actually, um, because while they lost and uh, didn't make it, they actually drew with Bayer Leverkusen 2-2, but obviously they did lose the first leg. But while they didn't make it to the final, it was such an impressive performance. And, you know, we had spoken a little bit in our main pod about what Daniele De Rossi would do. In this particular match, you know, would he would he accept the loss and concentrate on the big Serie A game to seal a Champions League spot? Would he actually try to give it a shot against Bayer Leverkusen despite being 2-0 down? And obviously, knowing the warrior he is and knowing the personality that he is, it seemed to me that he was always going to be somebody who gave his all in every match. And he didn't have Dybala. It was, they were 2-0 down. And yet Roma were brilliant against an extraordinary team that had won, that, well, that hadn't lost in 48 consecutive matches. And they scored a goal. Paredes got the penalty. Um, he got a second penalty. And when they were 2-0 up, I genuinely believed that Roma had now the opportunity to go all the way. But Leverkusen was still very good in that match. And unfortunately, they they just have, unfortunately for Roma, but rather fortunately for them, there were just so many similarities to, I guess, a little bit to Real Madrid, if you like, on a smaller scale. I mean, that winning mentality to not let go of the winning streak that they've got going. The fact that they still haven't lost a single game in any competition this season. It is a remarkable feat. The the way they play, the style they play, the attitude, the intensity, the ideas. It is um, one thing that De Rossi said so well is, you know, the point is, is we go out there and we do everything as well as we can. And if we lose to a better team, then we shake their hand and we tip our head, hat to them. And I just, I love that he said that because that's exactly what football should be about. And Roma tried as best as they can to play this game and to come back and to do something very special. And they came very, very close, very close. But unfortunately for them, they were just up against an opponent that is truly having the season of their lives at the moment and competing for the treble. I did enjoy at the end, though, that Xhaka was trying to run down the clock and he was like, I'm going to accept a loss. I just want to make sure we make it to the final. Um, But the rest of the team were like, no, we're not going to accept a loss because we've got a winning streak. There was different. There was things that when I said that this reminds me a lot of... um, I guess Real Madrid is because that was an extraordinary game if you did watch Madrid against Bayern. But Neuer was fantastic 
throughout the entire match for Bayern Munich and then makes one mistake that Jose Lu from Real Madrid as opportunistic as he was you know had already bet on that mistake and basically was in the right position to score the goal and it was brilliant for him him there was an exact moment when Kovar Leverkusen's goalkeeper spilt but unfortunately no one from Roma had taken that chance and that was spoken about so much because it was like ah if only there was someone there then maybe there would have been another goal we could have said this a thousand times if only Tammy Abraham had scored his opportunity in the first leg then maybe there would have been a chance as well but um ifs and buts I guess uh, also Svilar was certainly man of the match he was just outstanding he was brilliant in stopping and shutting down everything that Leverkusen were throwing at him but unfortunately for him it, it wasn't brilliant all the way through and Roma were tuna up there's a corner he makes a mistake he doesn't get the ball and it then uh bounces off uh, Mancini and it's an own goal and so Leverkusen were now only 2-1 down and looking for the second goal which they then got on a counter-attack to draw the game and win on aggregate um, but it was a remarkable match uh, unfortunately um, we did see uh, we did see Spinazzola come off and uh, Zalewski was having a torrid time against Frank Pong until they had to change um, over. So he switched uh, wings, uh, he sw- switched flanks with El Shirawi. Support for Seria Chronicles is brought to you by Manscaped, who are the best in men's below the waist grooming. Shaving your jewels doesn't have to be risky business anymore, thanks to the Lawnmower 5.0 Ultra. This trimmer is all about keeping things smooth and safe so you can trim with confidence. Treat your boys down there and join the 10 million men worldwide who trust Manscaped by going to manscaped.com to get 20% off plus free shipping with code SERIA. With Manscaped, it's easy grooming. No surprises. Hey, it's Kaylee Cuoco for Priceline. Ready to go to your happy place for a happy price? Well, why didn't you say so? Just download the Priceline app right now and save up to 60% on hotels. So whether it's Cousin Kevin's Kazoo concert in Kansas City, go Kevin! Or Becky's Bachelorette Bash in Bermuda, you never have to miss a trip ever again. So download the Priceline app today. Your savings are waiting. Go to your happy place for a happy price. Go to your happy price, Priceline. Hey guys, it is Ryan. I'm not sure if you know this about me, but I'm a bit of a fun fanatic when I can. I like to work, but I like fun too. It's a thing. And now the truth is out there. I can tell you about my favorite place to have fun. Chumba Casino. They have hundreds of social casino style games to choose from with new games released each week. You can play for free anytime, anywhere. And each day brings a new chance to collect daily bonuses. So join me in the fun. Sign up now at ChumbaCasino.com. No purchase necessary. VTW. Void or prohibited by law. See terms and conditions. 18 plus. But yes, a few players. Lukaku didn't shine in this one either. We would have expected a better performance. But I think that we need to um, tip our hats to Paredes, who had an excellent match. Uh, really showing himself up to be a, a great midfielder. And I really think learning from another midfielder, just his movements, his confidence, his ability on the ball, he's been fantastic. Um, even Allegri said he was always a great player. It didn't work out for him at Juventus, but he's always been a great player. And I think he's, we're starting to see that now at Roma. Actually, we have been seeing that now for a while. So that's what happened there. So congratulations to Bayer Leverkusen, commiserations to Roma, but they were outstanding Big game coming up now against Atalanta. We wish them luck. As for Atalanta themselves, aren't they just the fairy tale of Italy? Um, it was a brilliant game. I mean, they had uh, drawn 1 1 uh, at the Stad Velodrome, which is a, a notoriously difficult stadium to play at. So they were the favourites to come back to Italy and do something special and special they did do um they won 3-0 nothing more spectacular than Ruggeri's second uh, than his goal which was the second for Atalanta um a really truly beautiful goal so if you have a chance please do look at Ruggeri's goal um it was on it was in the beginning of the second half uh this is a fairy tale story. Interestingly enough Gazzetta dello Sport um wrote a piece about how Gasparini's career at Atalanta is really about showing patience to a project, showing patience um, 
with a coach, believing in him, even if there are problems and helping and supporting him in order to create a great project. And and he, the writing and the column was based on Purely and Allegri and whether or not we should question their sacking when you consider how much Gasparini has been able to build because he's had patience. I don't agree entirely with the um, with the thought process behind this. I do agree with Purely. I don't know if patience is what Allegri really needs at Juventus. I, I think he's been shown a lot of support. I think sometimes something's just not working anymore, right? Um, but you know me, I, I do, I always never really want to sack a certain coach if I think he's done something special before. I'm more likely to look at what's going wrong if I do think he's a winning coach. And Pioli and Allegri are winning coaches. So if something's not working, then I'm I'm inclined to believe that there's a bigger problem than what they're doing. Um, but with Allegri, I do think it's a clash of cultures. He's used to veterans, he's used to experience, he's used to a different team. And working with youngsters and developing a uh, style of play for them is is m- much harder task than what he is, I guess, capable of. It's 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 a different job for a different type of coach, put it that way. But it's an interesting thought because there was a moment there when Atalanta were not pleased with Gasparini. There was a moment there where they were talking about potentially sacking him um, or letting him go. And I remember last year, and I we talked about this on the main pod. It was Nikki and I, and I and I remember thinking. This is the worst thing you could possibly do is let go of Gasparini. And you have to understand that with the squad that you have and the fact that he does like small squads, that it wasn't an exceptional team, that it had a lot of uh, injuries at the time. And yet he continues to build something special, but he needs time. He can't always be competing at a top level every single year. Like no team can. Even Manchester City has expressed... Has, has, uh, had a bit of a downfall from what they produced last season. It is normal to do that. Um, but the patience shown and the project that they've had, and I do think having a coach where there's a, a level of stability at the top and you're not sort of biased by what the... Because he's fallen out with players. Players have left because of him. Players have come out and talked about the fact that they don't like playing for him. We've seen that happen with the Timothy Castagna, for example, or um Papu Gomez obviously we've we've had players come out and say that they don't like working with Gasparini and they've left and yet it has always been certain and clear that he says what happens that the pres the ownership believe in him so what he dictates goes and so if it, it's between the coach or a great player the coach wins and I think that's the right mentality to have at a big club um at any club and and the fact is is that they Atalanta behave like a big club, which is why they are witnessing the kind of success that they are. And it is a beautiful night for them, for the stadium that is being, re- well, still has has a stand that's being rebuilt. But it's brilliant for them to have reached a final um, for the first time in their history. And it's so warranted and so merited for everything that they have done um, for Italian football and for the project. And they've done it right. They are the fairy tale. Um, that continues to surprise us and excite us with the style of play that they produce. Um, So congratulations to them. Congratulations as well to Fiorentina for making their second consecutive uh, Conference League final. This time around, they won't be facing an English side, but Olympiacos, so that should be fun. Um, Well done to them because it was difficult to go up against Club Club Brugge they are the belgian side is a is a very very well-run side it is meticulous in its management and so um i really i did fear for them honestly speaking but i'm very happy that they've managed to to overcome and to be playing another final i do want to speak to about ancelotti a little bit because i think that it gets glossed over just how much of a great coach he really is just how much what has been built at Real Madrid, but especially right now in the dressing room, is down to him. It's time for today's Lucky Land Horoscope with Victoria Cash. Life's gotten mundane, so shake up the daily routine and be adventurous with a trip to Lucky Land. You know what they say, your chance to win starts with a spin. So go to LuckyLandSlots.com to play over 100 social casino-style games for free for your chance to redeem some serious prizes. Get lucky today. 
at LuckyLandSlots.com. Available to players in the U.S., excluding Washington and Michigan. No purchase necessary. VGW Group. Void were prohibited by law. 18 plus. Terms and conditions apply. Okay, round two. Name something that's not boring. A laundry? Ooh, a book club. Computer solitaire. Huh? Ah, oh, sorry. We were looking for Chumba Casino. That's right. ChumbaCasino.com has over 100 casino style games. Join today and play for free for your chance to redeem some serious prizes. ChumbaCasino.com. No purchase necessary. Full work limited by law. 18 plus terms and conditions apply. See website for details. And, and it's not just down to him. I also want to mention um, Davide Angelotti, his son who is the the man in charge of training sessions, who is the man in charge of developing the relationships with the players. He's been a terrific assistant coach. And this is despite all the accusations of nepotism thrown at him. The idea to bring in José Lu uh, in, in towards the end of the game was his. That was his substitution. He said, he went up to his father and said, I really think we need to bring on José Lu. José Lu, if you don't know, is a 34-year-old striker. He has been a Real Madrid fan all his life. Um, in 2012, he he tweeted out if anyone had a link <laughs> to watch a pirated, um, you know, it's a legal link basically to stream a Real Madrid game. This was he he wouldn't miss a Real Madrid match. Um, in 2000, uh, where is it? 22. He went to the final to watch Real Madrid, to watch the win again. And he was taking pictures as a fan just to go and watch his favorite team play. So imagine, imagine being the guy that scores the goals that they need to reach the final of the competition this year. For a 34 year old um, who had missed and squandered a thousand opportunities this year with lots of people trying to figure out how on earth he's the striker at Real Madrid, for him to be able to produce like that, it is just so fantastic. And that's so much down to Ancelotti believing in him and his son believing in him and saying he should be the guy that comes on, he's going to nail it for us. Because he did. He was the guy that nailed it for them. And I, you know, they talk about Pep Guardiola and there are so many brilliant coaches in the world and Pep Guardiola is certainly one of the very, very best. But... Ancelotti is really king of of finals. This is his sixth final. It is incredible to watch, potentially winning his fifth now. Um, there was only one he lost, and obviously that was to, to Liverpool. But I think people sometimes say, oh, there isn't really an identity. It's too pragmatic. It's by pragmatic. Remember, that doesn't mean defensive. It just means pragmatic, as in you don't really understand what's going on because what Ancelotti focuses on is raising the IQ of the players. So it's not about playing a certain style of football that is, you know, this is our plan A and will always be a plan A and opponents have to figure us out. No, he adapts his squad to whatever the needs are. And I, and I think that they've become so clever. They're allowed so much freedom. And obviously it's, it's easier to do when you have very intelligent players. But it's also about unity. And he's created a dressing room that is young that is young, but much younger than what he's had before with Karim Benzema or Ronaldo. I mean, he still has obviously Luka Modric and Tony Cruz, but it is a young squad that learns that being there for one another, playing for one another results in victory. And that is single-handedly down. That is all down to him, what he's created at Real Madrid right now. He's supported by, obviously, Perez and uh, uh, Jose Angel Sanchez, who's an incredible, incredible director. They are very lucky to have the the kind of stability that one dreams of at top level. Um, the kind that Inter have right now, um, that Juventus once upon a time used to have, but theirs is on another level. It's a, it's a winning it's a winning mentality that they have right now. That Bayer Leverkusen looks like it's it's starting to develop. <laughs> as well and I do think it's interesting that obviously Xabi Alonso had turned down Liverpool and turned down all the big jobs to stay at Leverkusen because the truth is is that the job that he really wants is Madrid and as long as Ancelotti's there he can't take it and Madrid are also just waiting for when if Ancelotti wants to go that's when they'll go to Xabi Alonso so a perfect man to take over but it's not about Madrid it's about Ancelotti it's about him and it's about his son so 
we've got some young kids, some younger coaches making their making a difference right now, whether it's Tiago Motto or Daniele De Rossi. But I would be so excited one day to see Davide Ancelotti um, in charge of a club. I'm actually going to write a piece about it. And so I will link it when, when I have it published on the BBC. But anyway, thank you for listening to my voice note. I hope you have a terrific weekend. Ciao for now. Sports Social Podcast Network. It's time for today's Lucky Land Horoscope with Victoria Cash. Life's gotten mundane, so shake up the daily routine and be adventurous with a trip to Lucky Land. You know what they say, your chance to win starts with a spin. So go to LuckyLandSlots.com to play over 100 social casino-style games for free for your chance to redeem some serious prizes. Get lucky today at LuckyLandSlots.com. Available to players in the U.S., excluding Washington and Michigan. No purchase necessary. VGW Group. Void were prohibited by law. 18 plus. Terms and conditions apply.